Okay, so what we're looking at here is a class of reaction that's called a disproportionation, and it's just a small wrinkle on what we're already doing with balancing reactions. The first step we have you do when you're balancing something by half reactions is to split it into two, two separate lines. You ignore everything that isn't O and H, and then you look for other substances like iodine or manganese or whatever it is and you write one line that tells the story of the first substance and one line that tells the story of the second. But if you try to do that here, all of these are about manganese and so it's not totally clear how to split it up. This is what we call a disproportionation and the way they work is you have MnO4, the reactant, doing both, participating in both reactions. The idea is you've got a large amount of MnO4 and some of it is going to turn into MnO2 and some of it is going to turn into MnO4. So here's our two reactions. You only have one reactant, so you have to use it twice. Here's the first one. It's turning into manganese 4 oxide. And then we have MnO4 2 minus the same reactant. Some of it also turns into permanganate. And now we balance as normal. That's the only thing that's different with disproportionations. So let's go through this. Practice on these is good. Uh, balance everything that isn't oxygen and hydrogen. Every one of these has one manganese in it, so we're good there. Oxygen. Four oxygens there, only two there. So this side needs oxygen, which it gets in the form of water. Sorry, two in front of that. Down here, four oxygens in both, so that part's okay. Uh, balance hydrogen. There are four hydrogens on this side, so this side needs four hydrogen. Bottom one has no hydrogen at all, that's fine. And charge. Uh, negative two plus four, we have two charge on the left, no charge at all on the right, so remember you add electrons to bring down the higher side. Now the charges on both sides are zero. And here we have charges of negative two, and negative one. Negative one is actually the higher, so add an electron to bring that down. Now, if we are to combine these, they must have the same number of electrons being transferred, and that's not the case right now. We have two electrons in this reaction, only one in this reaction, so to fix that, double the entire second reaction. And again, at the end of this, I'll do the step where I combine these into one reaction. I suspect you probably got a good grip on that step, so for now I won't make you watch it. Let's go on and try this next one. Okay, so w w the only reactant we have is nitrogen dioxide. Some of it turns into nitrate ion. and some of it turns into nitrogen monoxide. Balance everything that isn't oxygen and hydrogen. Every one of these contains one nitrogen, so no trouble there. Two oxygens versus three. The left side needs an oxygen. Two oxygens versus one. Hydrogen, two on the left, none on the right. Uh, two on the right, none on the left. I wonder if these are going to cancel or if the number of electrons will be out. Yeah, I think the number of electrons is going to differ. Okay, balancing charge, we have, for this first reaction, no, zero charge on the left, and negative one plus two is plus one on the right, so this reaction gets one electron. Down here we have plus one charge, no, I'm sorry, plus two charge, two hydrogens on the left side and zero on the right, so this requires two electrons to even them up. As I feared, the electrons are not going to match. We need, this reaction has two electrons, so this one must also contain two electrons, which means double everything. Twice as much, twice as much, twice as much, twice as much is four, 
and twice as much. Now those are ready to be added together. And one more. Nitrous acid. That's no good. I want some space for the things I'll inevitably be adding in here. Some of it turns into nitrogen monoxide, and some of it turns into nitrate. Uh, all of these contain one nitrogen, so there's no problem with that. Oxygen, two versus one. The right side needs an oxygen, which it gets in the form of water. Uh, 2 versus 3, this side needs an oxygen. Now hydrogen. 2 on the right, 1 on the left. This left side needs one, one more hydrogen. 3 on the left, none on the right. And how are we doing on charge? Total of plus 1 charge on the left zero charge on the right, so we need to bring this side down. One electron will do it. Here, second reaction, zero charge on the left. Uh, negative one plus three is plus two charge on the right, so two electrons will sort us out there. Uh, we want our number of electrons to match, and it does not, so we double the first reaction. We need two E, and we'll do anything to get it. Double that, double that, double that. Double that, and double the water. And now we can add those up. Okay, so what you're going to see now is I'm going to write out these reactions and cancel any spectators. You can watch that if you wish, or if you think you got a grip on it, we'll see you in the next lesson. This is interesting. I've got uh, these. We have a total of three MnO4 two minuses, but two over here. So two of those are going to cancel out. I I just kind of stared at this for a minute, thinking before I realized what was going on, because this is a little odd. So if you noticed a pause in my activity, it's because it took me a second to process this. So. Here is our net reaction. No, we can't cancel those because, <laughs> well, this is turning out to be a little sneakier than I thought. We cannot cancel these. Do you see why? The charges don't match. They're not the same species. This is MnO4 2 minus, and this is MnO4 minus. We can't cancel those. We can combine these two and get 3 MnO4 2 minus. There we go. MnO2 plus 2 H2O. Okay, so that was just me not reading carefully enough. There was a very small detail in the charge of that manganese ion that threw that one off. I should have seen that immediately, but as you saw, I got pretty deep into making a mistake before I finally realized something wasn't right. What what saved me there is when I finish writing one of these, I generally check that the charge adds up correctly. And if it does, that's a good sign. And if it doesn't, that definitely means you've made a mistake. And the thing I was writing, I believe, was shaping up to have plus two charge on the left and zero on the right. And I knew that couldn't be correct. So 
Now that I've done this, let's do another quick check. 3 times negative 2, this has negative 6 charge, plus 4 means overall there's minus 2 charge on the left, and 0, 0, minus 2 charge from these two manganese, so now it's looking better. Okay, I think we got that squared away now. Water on both sides of this one, and hydrogen actually. We can lose a water. We can lose two hydrogens. There will be two left over here. So our finished version is uh, okay. So we have a single H2O now. Okay, so there's that one finished. I'll get a box around that so it stands out from all my other scribblings. And let's see if I can squeeze in one more down here. Um, because we're so tight on space, I'm going to look for spectators before I even get started here. Two water on the right and one on the left. I can lose this water, and I can lose one of those waters, so there's only one left. Uh, those HNO2s I can combine, and hydrogen. We've got two hydrogen on the left, three on the right. So we'll lose two hydrogen there, and we'll lose two hydrogen there, leaving us with just one. Uh, the electrons, we always drop out. And yeah, I think that'll do it. So three HNO2. Uh, full stop, actually. The we don't mention the electrons, so that's the only reactant. And that turns into 2NO plus a nitrate ion and a single water. And I know there's trouble with that someplace because why don't the charges add up? Oh, there's one hydrogen left. Hooray. I was developing a terrible se f feeling of dread. Zero charge on the left, and over here the nitrate's minus one and the hydrogen's plus one, so we get a total of zero charge on the right. That means we are good.